let's start with, with Derek Carr. And it, it's important to put some context here Jared's in terms of his, in terms of his contract out. situation. Sorry. So here's yeah. what, trust me, hold it, put a pin in it, because we <laughs> will need to get to it for sure. So here's what's going on with Derek Carr when it comes to the terms of the contract he's under right now. He signed a three-year, $121.5 million contract over the offseason. That includes... A full no trade clause. Very important aspect mm -hmm. there. His salary for 2023 and a bit of 2024 are guaranteed in the event of an injury. All of it becomes guaranteed three days after the Super Bowl on February 15th. Mm. Okay. M. Rob, the writing has been sort of on the wall I here for Derek. Yeah, I got you. I got it mm. in a card. <laughs> it's been on the on the wall here for given the, the season that they've had in Vegas. Yeah. It's been tough. Yeah, it has been tough. And you look at uh, Derek Carr. I mean, uh, yeah, Derek Carr over the last, what, five weeks, he's had an interception in every single game. Three of those games, multiple interceptions, 28 interceptions over the last two seasons, right? 14 this year. Tie for his most ever. And, right, and so when you're just looking at the product on the field, Derek Carr isn't playing well. He isn't playing well, let's be honest. We, now, we can have a conversation about uh, Josh McDaniel and, and, and his role in this and, and whatever, and th that Derek Carr has had good seasons before. We can have that conversation. But right now, Derek Carr is not playing well. He is not. MJ, you talked about the business of it. I believe this move to bench him right now is strictly business, right? He has a no-trade clause. At some point, they're going to have to go to him and say, hey, man, can you push that no-trade clause back a little Ooh. bit, possibly, so you can help us out to try to figure the business part of this out? Um, you mentioned a, a injury guarantee as well. To me, I believe that is another reason why he is put on the bench, because at the end of the day, nobody wants to put a guy out there, and mm -hmm. if he gets hurt, now you have a big business um, move that you have to have and pay him all this money when you you're not so sure if he's going to be the quarterback of your future. Jared Stidham is not the quarterback of the future. I think they know exactly who that kid is. This move is strictly business. And um, at the end of the day, Derek Carr lost his job because of his play on the field. No doubt, Mike. I mean, he was, he was poor, especially in the second half against Pittsburgh. You were there. You, yes. you recognized it. A throw at the end of the game. Hunter Renfro's open. It was terrible. They, they might win the game. But they're still alive, okay? Like, I understand if the Raiders were out of it, if you make this move. But as a teammate, if I'm in that locker room, I'm Max Crosby, I'm Devontae Adams, I'm somebody in that locker room, and you're saying, I'm going to go to a guy that's never started a game against the number one defense in football, Jared Stidham against the 49ers. Like, what are you telling the rest of the team? Like, we're just throwing in the towel, because that's what they're saying. And just because the quarterback might not be there next year, is probably not going to be there, we're going to do a business move with two games left where we still have a chance. And, oh, by the way, the backup – <laughs> to Jared Stidham, yeah, who, who, who Jay Scarbers, all right? Sure. He's a rookie, University of California, okay. Golden Bear. I mean, never played a down. And so Derek Carr is not even in the building. Like, I just don't know if you could do that to your team. You, right. Baldy, you're absolutely right. Because, you know, every morning you have a team meeting. How do you stand up there right. and tell those guys this about is our the game, game plan? This is our game plan. And I'm looking at them saying, well, well are you putting your best foot forward from a coaching standpoint? That's the question. You want, your coach going to say, Max, you go out there and lay it on the line. Okay, but you just pulled the plug. Right. Mm. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a weird messaging. Not to mention, you guys heard Josh Jacobs after the game last week. Very direct, very colorful, uh, colorful on how he is sick mm -hmm. of this kind of play. All right. Well, I looks like Derek Carr is already getting some suitors. Let's go to the Twitter recruitment channel. Yes, Chris Johnson saying, hey, we need a car with two R's in Tennessee <laughs> next year.